Okay, we're going to talk about mixed and improper fractions. By way of review, when we have one whole and we divide it into five equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, we say we have five fifths. Additionally, if we have another whole circle and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts, we have ten equal parts, and if we're expressing all ten of them, we have ten tenths. And in the last circle, we have eleven parts. We say we have eleven elevenths. We use improper and mixed fractions to express more than one whole. If we were to look at the two circles we have here, we're going to show one, one circle, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and we're going to show two fifths of the additional circle. So we have five fifths from this circle, and we have two fifths from this. So five fifths plus two fifths equals seven fifths. Also, we can look at the circle and express it in a mixed number. This is called an improper fraction, where the numerator or the top number is bigger than the denominator. We can also express this as a, as a mixed number by saying we have one, and over here, two-fifths. Another example, looking at these three circles, is expressing two of them plus four sixths. We can also express that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixths. So we can show this as a mixed number, two and four sixths, or an improper fraction. Again, we know that something is more than one, obviously, when we're, we're showing a whole number. Plus the, plus the fraction, or if we're showing it as an improper fraction, that the top number is bigger than the bottom number. We can convert back and forth between mixed numbers and improper fractions. If we have 2 and 4 6, and without counting all the, the triangles we have, we can do a mathematical conversion that will help us figure out how many six we have. Simply, we take two times six, which equals 12, and then we add 12 to four, which gives us 16, or 16 six. We can also convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. So let's say we have 16 sixths again. <coughs> we simply take the 16 and divide it by 6. <coughs> 2 times 6 is 12. <coughs> 6 minus 2 is 4. So 2 and 4 sixths. And as we talk about, that can be simplified to two and two-thirds. Being able to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed numbers becomes very important when we're trying to add and subtract <coughs> numbers that have different fractions or different equal portions. So on your worksheets, you're going to practice converting mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed numbers. Please complete the week five day one worksheet that your teacher will hand out now.